things are beginning to look a little spooky in the St. Luke's OR. There's some really cool costumes. They're also starting to get pretty sweet. Got some buckets and some candy. Soon, all of these Halloween goodies will be in the hands of local foster kids. We're, we're doing costumes, uh, buckets, flashlights, and uh, like glow sticks, things for safety, and, co and candy too, so that, um, you know, they could provide candy for the families to hand out. Experts say foster kids are often left feeling left out, especially during holidays like Halloween. It's hard to be a kid to start with. And it's, it's huge for them to be the same as everyone else, just to fit in, to have that sense of belonging. That's why donation drives like this one are so important. If we can provide them with things like Halloween costumes and school supplies, backpacks, the things that other kids and their peers have, um, it really kind of eases that pain and that transition. Donating is simple. You can pick up a new costume of any size at your local Halloween store and then drop it off in the OR at St. Luke's. They'll bring it up to us and we can get them over to the CASA office. In the past, CASA would lay out all the Halloween goodies and allow the kids to shop for their costumes free of charge. This year, because of COVID, they're doing a delivery type service instead, still for free, of course. And even if Halloween looks a little different this year. We're, we're not necessarily promoting a uh, door to door trick or treating, but I mean, you're going to be hard pressed to stop a kid from wanting to dress up. They're hoping it holds all the fun of years past. You know, we just want kids to have fun this year still. And if they only go to their grandparents' house or, you know, to their foster kids or their foster family's parents' house or whatever, we just want them to have fun. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams. Idaho News 6.